right now in youth ministry, we are looking at what wisdom is in the Bible and how do we walk that out. The main character in the book of Proverbs is wisdom, and the antagonist to that is foolishness. Foolishness means necessarily it's not sinful, it's just dumb. Teenage boys are a perfect example of this. Blowing things up, jumping off buildings. One thing we did as teenagers, and I admit wasn't very smart, but it was something we still did, was take a bow and arrow, and the arrow did have a blunt tip, and stand in a circle and shoot it straight up in the air and see who would stay in the circle the longest. Now, admittedly, that was not even close to smart. But again, we never made that claim at 16 years old. There are a few myths out there of what wisdom really is. Three of those myths are this. Number one, if you're old, you're wise. So you can be old and foolish, and you can be young and still incredibly wise. Myth two, if you're smart, you're wise. So you can have a high IQ and still be unwise. Myth three, if you're educated, you're wise. So you can have a PhD and still be foolish. See, none of these are 100% true. So what is the difference in knowledge and wisdom? Knowledge is said to be the fact or condition of being aware of something. So in contrast, wisdom is said to be Wisdom is the appropriate application of knowledge. It's putting what we know and have learned and applying it to our daily lives. This is what the Bible says about wisdom. Psalms 111.10 says, The fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey His commandments will grow in wisdom. So, it's knowing those commandments and then walking in them. That's the hard part, to actually walk out what we know is right. So how do we get wisdom? This is what James 1.5 says, If you need wisdom, ask your generous God and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. So, let's get this in order. We need to be in the Word and be reading Scripture to gain knowledge of how to walk out our lives and do it according to God's plan. But the power to walk that out comes through wisdom. And if you need help with what God says, ask Him for it and He will give it to you. Check your hearts this week and ask, am I using wisdom to walk out what I know God has already spoken to me?